last love light of the one I'm opening up in sweet surrender to the luminous love light of the one I'm opening I'm opening I'm opening I'm opening I'm opening up in sweet surrender to the luminous love light of the one I'm opening up in sweet surrender to the luminous love light of the one. I'm opening, I'm opening, I'm opening, I'm Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to Unity of Louisville, where our mission is to transform ourselves and the world through love. And I'm Reverend Ray Nelson. I'm the senior minister here, and it's my honor and privilege to have each and every one of you with us here today. And if you're watching us online, welcome to you as well. So let us take a moment and open in prayer. <clears throat> so let's just take a breath. And as we take that breath, we bring our attention fully present to this moment. We allow that, pre that breath to center us and to may allow us to open ourselves up to the experience to come. We connect with our heart space. Settle into our chairs. And as we become open and receptive to that living spirit of truth, we know and affirm we are surrounded and enfolded in the Holy Spirit, that whole spirit of God, that spirit of life, that spirit of love, that spirit of grace. And knowing and affirming this to be true, we are open and receptive to listening with the ears of our heart to allow the music, the meditation, the message, and the connection we have with each other to move us and inspire us, to possibly even challenge us into new ways of being, to step into an even greater awareness of that presence and power of the divine in our life. And as spring begins to spring forth both in our external world as the trees begin to bloom, the flowers begin to bloom. That same springing forth springs forth within us, springing forth a newness, an opportunity to embrace a new consciousness, a new way of being in the world that sees beyond experiences, sees beyond the... the simple experiences of life to see the deeper truth of that interconnectedness, that oneness that enfolds us all. And so from that place, that place of connectedness and oneness, we are filled with joy and we say, thank you, God. Can we say that together? Thank you, God. One more time. Thank you, God. One final time. Thank you, God. Take it away, Phil. Please, uh, good morning. Please stand and join us for our opening song, Use Me. Use me, oh God, I stand for you. And here I'll abide as you show me all that I must do. I used to think God was the sun, God is the sun, but God's so much more than the earth or the stars are all of creation. God is creator, all in all, needing us, shine his light as me, as you, so use me, oh God. 
I stand for you, and here I'll abide as you show me all that I must do. Come and my hands, what must they do? Come and my life, it's here for you. God is the love that is creation. God is creator, makes all things new. God needs us to shine his light as me, as you. So use me, oh God, I stand for you. And here I'll abide as you show me all that I must do. God needs us to shine his light. God needs us to shine his light. God needs us to shine his light as me, as you. So use me, oh God, I stand. Here I'll abide as you show me all that I must do. Show me all that I must do. Show me all that I must do. All that I must do. Must do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you may be seated. It's the nice thing about live performances, it's always going to be a little different. So. so Unity is an inclusive, compassionate, prosperous spiritual community seeing the unlimited possibilities in all people. So one of my favorite things and one of our favorite things to do is to welcome anybody who's here for the very first time. So if you're a first time visitor, would you raise your hand as I'm raising my hand so we can get you a packet of information. So we're giving you a packet of information about the, the, this Unity Church and also the Unity Movement. There's a card if you take it downstairs. We have a little gift for you also. There's a candle. The candle is a gift from the congregation so that after the service we notice that you're a first time get visitor and we can answer any of your questions, acknowledge you, and in generally just treat you very well. So there's also an affirmation on that candle that says, as you light this candle, know that that Christ light already shines within you. And all that is important. But really one of the most important things we ever say here is that wherever you are on your spiritual journey, you are welcome here. We welcome you. We bless you. And we behold the living presence of God within you. Can we welcome our first time guests? And as that inclusive welcoming community, we also like to welcome each other. And I will say this each and every time, everybody's at a different place in their spiritual journey where they are. So we are a hugging community, but if you put out your arms and somebody puts out their hands, shake it. So ask before you hug, let's greet each other. So use me, oh God, I stand for you. And here I'll abide as you show me 
all that I must do. And God needs us to shine his light. God needs us to shine his light. God needs us to shine his light as me, as you. So use me, oh God, I stand for you. And here I'll abide as you show me all that I must do. 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 Thank you. You may be seated. And it was nice that they used all the words this time. That's good. <laughs> All right. We like to anchor our service with, a, with an affirmation or two. So this month, we are using a, one of our affirmations as our core value of empowerment. So let's say this one together. Together. Everyone around me is a reflection of who I am. And that's everyone around you, not just the people you like. So let's say that one again. <clears throat> Everyone around me is a reflection of who I am. And our other one is our 12th power of wisdom. Let's say this one. I am guided by divine wisdom in every thought, word, and action. And now as we move into our more meditative part of the service with the singing of the Lord's Prayer, know there will be a time of silence at the conclusion of the Lord's Prayer, as our oneness blessers and energy workers bless the God gathered. Our Creator, the chart in heaven, hallowed be thy name. And leave us not in temptation, but deliver us from error. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Amen. A reading from our daily word, Sunday, March the 24th, in today's word, assurance. All things are possible through the ageless omnipotence of my sacred self. The Apostle Paul frequently wrote of the pain and suffering he endured in the course of his missionary travels. He described his difficulties not as complaints, 
but to emphasize his certainty that the ultimate glory of Christ's mind is infinitely greater than mortal limitations. I consider that the sufferings of this present time, he wrote in Romans 8.18, are not worth comparing with the glory about to be revealed to us. That same spiritual certainty moves me through my day. My intentions may not be revealed. My body and mind may seem intent on emphasizing obstacles and fears. Still, I move gratefully forward knowing that nothing can affect the spiritual power that is my true identity. Romans 8.18 I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory about to be revealed to us. And so it is. There's a light that shines in each of us. There's a light that shines and it shines with love. There's a child that smiles in each of us. There's a child that smiles, and it smiles with love. There's a song that lives in each of us. There's a song that lives, and it lives with love. There's a light that shines in each of us. There's a light that shines and it shines with Allow your eyes to gently close. Take a moment, a moment to become aware of your breath. Imagine yourself a caterpillar inching through life. You are unaware that transformation is near. You munch on nettle leaves. In times of danger, those nettle leaves become your retreat. As you grow, you wiggle out of your old skin, leaving it behind. When you have grown as much as you can, change once again begins. Your skin splits. You become encapsulated in a chrysalis. You are surrounded by darkness, yet you are filled with love oneness, hope, a hope that you will emerge from the darkness. As you exit your chrysalis, you have transformed, transformed into a beautiful butterfly. 
you spread your wings and begin to navigate into a new reality. Now take a moment to become present to that new reality. And so it is. There was a boy, a very strange enchanted boy. They say he wandered very far, very far over land and sea. A little shy and sad of eye, but very wise was he and then one day one magic day he passed my way and well we spoke of many things fools and kings this he said to me the greatest thing you will ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. Then one day, one magic day, he passed my way. And yes, we spoke of many things, fools and kings. And this he said to me, the greatest thing you will ever learn is just to love. And be loved in return. Wow, thank you, Phil and John. Beautiful. The greatest thing is to be love and to love in return. That's it for today. We can all go home now. You know, between the beautiful meditation of transformation and the beautiful song of be love and to love. This is the promised land, right? A world of our dreams and our visions manifested in our reality. Yeah, uh-huh. And what about all the stuff that comes with it? How are we going to get it all done? And what all is it that we have to do? Does anybody feel like that sometimes? Okay. Just making sure I wasn't the only one in this. You know, we are transforming individually and collectively as we navigate a new reality and have no clue on what the map looks like because there's not one. We have not been here, us, this, this community as it is right now, ever before. And I don't know about you guys, but sometimes it gets a little scary up here. Um, or in the night when it's through and I'm 
getting into the office. And Ray and I usually meet early in the mornings and um, talk. And then one morning I jump up and I start writing on the board. And he's like, what are you doing? Because I have a whiteboard in my office, right? And I'm like, well, I got all this download last night, so I got to get it all down, you know, so just bear with me. And so I'm writing all this stuff down, and he's like, okay, okay, calm down. It'll be okay. <laughs> of everything that I could think of that we have to embark on in the next few months, right? You know? And thank goodness, you know, Pinky stepped in and said, okay, I'm willing. Let's do this part. Okay, we can do that part. And so then Gary steps in, and we were talking this morning about, I said, okay, how much parking do we have? Because we have two churches here. And I'm thinking, oh, wow, is this really going to work? And he's like, yeah, we have parking across the street, and we have parking over here. And I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad somebody knows all of these little details. And we know that something's going to happen, after we move or while we're moving and nobody's going to be in control, right? So we just have to be in it, whatever it is, without the drama, without the chaos, and just let it go, learn, and keep moving. So that's really the process that we're going to be in and already are in it over the next few months. Learning to adapt. And adapt so that our values can move and flow with us knowing that they're going to be expanded in some way going to be fine-tuned in a new space, in a new day, in a new dawn, whatever that looks like, because I really don't have a clue right now. But whatever we face, whatever that reality is, we know that we have the strength and the wisdom and the guidance to move through it. Because we have a wonderful, capable steering team that is kind of overriding the whole process and I'm in deep gratitude for each and every one that's on that team because without that I'd be crazy totally insane which you know for me is not anything new but yet my anxiety level would be up there even though I know the truth that through this whole process, things are going to be different, but so much more than we already are. The opportunities are unlimited, and it's freeing in that unlimitation. We get to create and manifest whatever our desire is. That's pretty amazing. No matter what we face, we'll be making hard decisions. We're venturing off, off a map to the unknown wilderness, knowing that the promised land is there for us to create. And that's exciting, right? It's a little scary, too. I know it is, James. I, I agree 100%. That's right, fear of the unknown. But what we do know is that collectively we are resilience. We are a loving, resilient community. We have weathered many storms. We really have. A few weeks ago I talked about honoring the past and if you remember that in 1937 when the flood hit, University of Louisville's building in Old Louisville was on a little bitty knob and it became the infirmary for the city. The third floor of that building was where people were taken that were injured and the community prayed 
for every being in that facility, and they were healed and whole. That's who we are. That's the shoulders we stand on. And that's amazing. That is, if we remember to stay in our values and to work our five principles, prayer, stay in that prayerful presence. No matter what's coming at us, we'll weather the storm. To trust. Trust the process. Trust that faith in our vision. And the mission that we are to transform ourselves in the world through love. That's what's ours to do, to do it individually and collectively, no matter where we are, no matter what home we reside in, that's what we're here to do. We can look at it through a new perspective, that new lens and just see beyond the horizon. See with our physical eyes, but see with that passion, that creativity of whatever's to come is unlimited possibilities. That's pretty amazing. We get to be it, whatever it is. We get to move forward with that passion, that wisdom, into those uncharted waters, creating new. New opportunities, new patterns, a new culture, while keeping what is essential. And letting the rest blossom and bloom into that beautiful possibility. a beautiful new beginning. We have that higher calling to be the love, to share that love outside the walls wherever we are. And it takes all of us collectively to come up with those possibilities. So don't think that it's crazy or that there are any dumb questions because there's not. We all are in this together and as it unfolds individually and collectively, we each bring our unique perspective to whatever and whoever we're moving into. And so honor that. Whatever the idea is, bring it up. Bring it forward. Because we collectively need it to move and to keep the passion going. It's up to each of us and our own individual passions for whatever it is that's stirring up to bring it out, to bring it forth so that we can grow, grow and learn as we go. There are no mistakes. There's just a new way, a new pattern, a new belief. As we all go within and listen to that wisdom of the small, still voice, we listen for guidance to continue to expand that vision of the unity of Louisville. We are no longer the best kept secret in the city. Thank you, God, for that one. And we never want to be that again. We are here to be love 
in this city, in this world, to be a light of wisdom, to show that there's a different way for all of us to grow, to be happy, to be prosperous, to be whole and healthy. Whatever it is that your desires, we're here to move it forward, whatever it is. And we can move it forward with each other. It's possible. Matter of fact, it's not only possible, it's already happening. Right? I mean, it really is. We've already done so much. I mean, this, the, the board that was just here previously and now this new board, there's so much excitement, so much energy that transformation and moving upward is all that we can really do. <laughs> because if you're going to sit still, you're probably just going to get left behind somewhere and Aaron will have to clean you up. But that's the truth of it. We're moving and we're moving fast. And it's scary at times. And I wake up in the middle of the night going, okay, wait a minute, let me write that one down. I need one of those smart boards, you know, that as I write it, it goes into a computer somewhere and in the web and comes back to me because it's really crazy. But I know that when I go within, the answer is there. The information is there. I just have to tap into it. That's all any of us have to do. What is the right next move in this unchartered territory? We just go within. Be the love that we're here to be. We boldly step into tomorrow together. That's who we are. That's who we've always been. That's who we're always going to be. In the New Thought Movement, our forebears, the Fillmores, Emily Cady, all those that came before us didn't have a map. They didn't know where they were going. Nobody had a clue. They were bucking tradition left and right everywhere. And thank goodness that they did. Because if they hadn't had the courage, if they hadn't had the passion, we would not be here today. And now it's our turn to be the passion, to be the wisdom, and to lead. To move forward into that space that we don't have a clue. We just know it's right. And we know that as we say yes, miracles happen. As we answer the calling of love, to be free and to love. And remember to open the water. We have to be willing to let go. That's going to be difficult. This is a wonderful sanctuary. It supported us for 62 years. All of my life. This has been my spiritual home. And letting go is not always easy. But there comes a time when we know that it's time. That there's new out there. And we're not, we, we're not really sure what it is or how we're going to get there. But it is the truth to step forward boldly. So we have to let go. And honor that. Honor the love and space. And let it go to another community who's willing to come in and do what's needed in the future, tomorrow, today. 
for the space and for the community, just as we did. We have to learn to go with the flow because there are going to be times when stuff comes up and we're going to be in that space of, oh, we didn't think of this one. So take a breath and go with it. Don't let it stop us. The unknown is just that. And as soon as we know it and face it, we move through it. Right? We just take a breath and move through. Keep going. So as we navigate our reality, transforming from who we are as a community of love and higher consciousness, being called forth to do whatever it is in a new space, still being that love, still having our core values, and yet manifesting differently. We let go, learn as we grow, and keep moving one foot in front of the other, and the magic happens. Magic happens. And it's going to be fun and exciting, and it's going to be scary and sorrow. sorrow. It's going to be all of that mixed into one. And so when you're feeling that, let us know, whatever it is. When you're feeling the passion and you want to come in and paint and say, yay, let me know. And if you're feeling the sorrow, we're here to pray and to be with that because it's part of our reality. Just as the love that each of us is here to be. Together we can resolve any challenge we face with that faith and trust, living the truth, being free, prosperous, and whole. In each and every moment, holding that space for those who have yet to be a part of this beautiful community. I love you, I bless you, I behold the living Christ as you. Uh, we chose this second song this morning because it seems to tie in completely with the beautiful meditation about the metamorphosis of the butterfly and um, Reverend Valerie's talk about change and decisions we make and uh, this song's about the freedom you get when you make those decisions and you commit to them so thank you I have made a decision about my life It may be a strange surprise to some I have always thought I wanted what so many want But it's to a different conclusion that I've come I see water rushing through an ancient riverbed I see snowfall floating high upon a hill. I see an eagle soaring to the red horizon. And I know that is how I'm meant to feel. Oh, I need I will go where the wind will carry me to be free, to be free. You won't see me playing kind of life.
lottery. You won't catch me wishing on a fallen star. But you will find me wherever I am called to be. Wherever kindness and beauty are. For I think of all mankind as my family. This entire precious planet as my home. So let others build their borders, walls, and boundaries. I will fly above them all, even if I must go alone. Oh, I need to be free. I will go where the wind will carry me to be free, to be free. When I hear a child singing, when I see a dolphin swimming, when I watch a dancer moving like the wind, it's a calling, it's a vision, it's a voice that I must listen. So today, this very day, I'm stepping in. Oh, I need to be free. I will go where the wind will carry me to be free. To be free. Who knew that Phil was a crooner? All right. Our own little Frank Sinatra. All right, baby. Frank Sinatra with a lot of hair. There you go. All right. So um, I was talking to Cindy. It's going to be time for our offering in a moment. I was talking to Cindy Dargon a couple days, a few days ago, and she says, say something about our, about giving. And when Cindy says she wants to say something, I just say yes, because that's what I do. <laughs> Money. There it is. The elephant in the room. Five random letters that have been given the power to stop many a truth student in their tracks, to abandon their prosperity principles, and to turn them into resentful complainers. All they do is talk about money. They're always asking for money. We're never going to have enough money. There's never enough money. There's never enough. This is ego's favorite ploy. Favorite because it's so effective in keeping us from growth and freedom. I think it's time for us to bring an end to this, both collectively and individually. What an opportunity we have. Look at the word. Say it with me. Money. <laughs> Thank you. See, nobody dropped dead from that. <laughs> understand, please understand that any negative, visceral, angry, resistant reaction you had from this is spirit showing you what in you is calling for healing, that the issue money is covering up from you, it's hiding from you, your own need for healing. And now we have the opportunity with 
all of us supporting one another to make this different. The most consistently successful prayer I have prayed for myself over the last 25 years that I've been coming to this church is show me how to see this differently. I have prayed this prayer face down on the floor. I have prayed this prayer screaming curses to heaven and every attitude in between. It has never failed me. I invite you now to, to look for ways to see differently. The time has come. I think every one of us should take a prosperity class this year. Right now, Mark Helm is teaching one, and it's phenomenal. He has agreed to let new people come in one more week. They close these classes. Traditionally, they close them after the third week. This coming Tuesday will be the third week. So there's still time for you to come into this particular prosperity class. Kim Binker will be teaching one later after Mark's class. Reverend Ray will be teaching one and hopefully more further down in the year. There are wonderful books about it. Whatever you can do collectively or individually to reach out and look for healing and growth in this area, I so encourage you to do so. Don't be a spectator at this historic time for Unity of Louisville. Dive in, learn, grow. Don't let a dollar sign steal your divine birthright of prosperity. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Cindy. So, <laughs> all right. On that note, as our ushers come forward, and as we prepare for our offering, know that unity teaches that divine law of giving and receiving, and we activate that law through our gifts. And, and knowing that money, check, however you give, it is energy. That's all it is. It is a reflection of energy. It's just a green piece of paper. That's all it is in the material world. It's a reflection of energy. So infuse it with the energy of your heart. Infuse it with the energy of your love. Infuse it with that collective energy of our mission. And as you give it, give it with joy. Because if you can't give it with joy, then don't give it. So we'll say our offertory blessing together. Together, divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I am, all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive, and so it is. Amen. And let's just take a moment and hold these gifts in prayer. We've each infused it with our own energy. Now let's collectively infuse it with the energy of this community, that community of transformation, that community of love. 
surrounding it and folding it in that light and love and seeing it going forth to do the mighty work that we are called to do, to heal this planet and transform it through love, to seeing, seeing each and every person having all the opportunities they can have, as Phil said, to be free. And so it is. Amen. Damn, I got some God bumps going on with me. Son of a gun. All right. <clears throat> Shoot. All right. So, got a few things going on. Uh, first off, um, in our, as I set our intention to move, when you are cleaning out your closets in a prosperity class, when you're cleaning out your drawers in that prosperity class, when you're cleaning out your living room or dining room or office in the prosperity class, don't bring your stuff here. <laughs> Take it to Wayside. Take it to Linda Luking's organization. Um, get a hold of me. I can tell you the address or get a hold of Linda. There's a lot of places you can take it. We are already in the process of clearing out our own stuff that we're not going to take. We'll either gift it away or leave it for someone else. So this is a process of release and let go. And I encourage you to release and let go that extra stuff that's bounding up your energy. Just don't bind up our energy in the process. So. <laughs> All right. And hug a bunny time. Don't you want some bunny to love? Don't you need some? Okay. Uh, I, I got a million of them, so you better just give me a bunch of bunnies so I quit singing odd songs about bunnies. So, all right. We'll be collecting these through Easter. So um, bring your bunnies. Let them be infused. I love watching the kids come in. They pick them up. Wednesday night, we got a bunch of kids coming for our Wednesday night service. They just come, they go through, they pick them up, they hug them, they love them, they put them back down. Because I've had one little girl say, because they're not for me, they're for others. We're just loving them up like everybody else is. I just, from the mouths of babes. So, um, upcoming, if you're interested in learning Reiki, uh, Reverend Valerie is going to be teaching a Reiki class. I will say you better sign up today because she's getting really close where the class is full. But if she fills that class and we really ask her now, I'll bet you she'll do a second one. So, all right. Uh, Good Friday, sir. Carla Knack and Gwen Mosier are going to be doing a uh, service for Good Friday here in the sanctuary. Um, um, have a number of other stuff going on. Um, Wednesday nights are still a good night to come. Uh, come at 5 for prayer and meditation up here in the sanctuary. Stay for fresh homemade soup, breads downstairs. Have some nice community and then come up. This week, Melba Harris will be leading us in a community sing-along, which last time it was a lot of fun. So, um, ah, one last thing. Um, the youth and family is going to be teaching um, the four agreements with the older youth, the Uniteens and YOU age. They need copies. If you're like me, I found out I had three copies of some books as I was going through my books. Um, gift one of them to the youth and family so the kids don't have to buy their own books or we don't have to buy them for them. And the flower sale will start next week. So if they will have the order blanks and you can order your flowers for up to six weeks and then we'll have fresh flowers delivered later. So, all right. That's it. Everybody stand and we'll close with our prayer for protection and we'll be followed by our peace song. So, together. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. And the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. Let there be peace on earth, and let it begin with me. Let there be peace on earth, the peace that was meant to be.
Namaste, y'all.